Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to get started with Polymer. We're going to first use Bower to initialize our project, then we're going to download and install Polymer. So in this video, we're going to download and add Polymer to our Bower file. Then using Bower, it's gonna grab all the stuff we need, and then in our HTML, we're just going to link up Polymer so that we're all ready to go. So keep watching, we're gonna get into that now. So we're going to follow Polymer's recommended way of setting up a project, and that's by using Bower. If you haven't used Bower before, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and install Node.js first. You can do that just by Googling Node.js. They have a easy installer on their page. Once you have that installed, you can then use the npm command to install Bower. So we're gonna go ahead and run npm install hyphen g Bower. just like that, and this is going to install Bower globally on your system. If you get a bunch of errors, that means that you don't have permissions to install it globally on your system, and you're gonna have to run this with sudo. Uh, and then after you run sudo, it's gonna ask you for your password, and it should install just fine. You're gonna to wanna to go to your project. So I don't really have a project set up, so let's get something set up now. I'm just going to uh, change directory into my uh, sites folder, so cd sites, um, and then I keep my level up sites in a folder called level up. Notice how there's nothing in here, so let's actually make a new directory. I'm going to say mkdir to make a directory, and this is just going to be uh, polymer, or polymer, okay? so. Let's change directories into Polymer with CD Polymer. Now that I'm in here, I'm going to run a init command. So it's going to be Bower init. Now this is going to initialize our project with a Bower file. So um, if you want them to anonymously use your statistics, sure. I don't mind that at all. Um, and it's gonna ask for the name of this project. By default, it's gonna use the folder name. So I'm just gonna hit yes. Um, version 0.00, .00 sure and this is going to be a level up uh, polymer test okay and the main file is just going to be index.html i don't have an index.html yet but that is quite all right i'll make one in a second and you don't really have to worry about this you can just hit enter uh it says just don't worry about the modules to expose part just by hitting enter. And we don't need keywords, authors, okay? Let's just keep hitting enter. Um, so I'm just hitting enter through all of these, right? Um, and at this point, I'm just going to say yes, looks good. Okay, so let's hit ls. We can now see we just have a bower.json file. And let's go ahead and add Polymer to this JSON file. We can do that by installing Polymer and adding it to our file at the same time by typing bower install hyphen hyphen save. Uh, the save is going to save it to our bower file. And we can say Polymer slash, uh, that's a forward slash, and then Polymer in lowercase. So what this is doing is it's going into the Polymer project and grabbing the Polymer component. There are several other different Polymer components that you can grab, which we'll go over in later videos, but for right now, we just want the core. So we're gonna hit enter here, and it's going ahead and grabbing all that stuff. Now a simple ls will confirm that inside of our Bower components, we have our platform Polymer core components page, all this stuff here. Right? So now that we have Polymer installed, we're ready to go with our project here. So let's go back to the root of our project and let's actually make an index.html file. So now I'm just going to open up this project in Sublime Text and you can see we have our bower.json file and not a whole lot else. So let's go and click a new file and let's just make this as index.html. And now we need to obviously give this some content. So now what I have here is just a basic HTML page. The doc type is just set to HTML. We have nothing in the head except for our script tag that's linking to uh, Bower component slash platform slash platform dot JS. And that is going to be the main component that we need, the Polymer platform. And that's all we really need to get started. 
So we now have Polymer installed and we have an HTML file and we're basically ready to go. We're ready to start creating our own custom elements right now. So in the next video, we're gonna take what we have here. We've installed Polymer, we've all got it all set up. And in the next video, we're gonna create our very first custom element. So keep watching in the next one. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.